So the first thing, hopefully you can see it again when I send it through, but obviously a lot easier. Your left arm on this side is obviously you see, bending yeah. into your body, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's not a natural hang for your left arm. If you left your arm just hang down by your shoulders, yeah. it will hang down fairly straight. Not going to lock it straight, but it's kind of hanging straight down there. You don't walk around walking kind of this way, okay? Mm -hmm. So your left arm in that kind of sort of bending in position here is going to mean when you come back to the golf ball, you have to return back to that bent position. Yeah. Well, where's that going to How much bend is that going to be? At least with an extended arm at just full extension, there's no kind of conscious, oh, I've got to be back to full. It just is there anyway. Yeah. Not like, oh, a 20 degree bend or a 17 degree bend or a 22. It's a guess, isn't it? So yeah. getting the arms to hang down straighter will help. But when you do that, try to make sure when you're set into the golf ball, even there, your eye line or your eyes itself are kind of looking off to the left there as you look, or right as we look at you. So you kind of sort of like this. <laughs> okay, so try and just stand a little bit more kind of facing the golf ball straight to get your eye line level, your shoulders level, and this way, when you keep your arms straight to get the right arm lower, you then do this, which in turn, my head now is tilt to the side, you see, yeah? yeah? So just getting straight onto the golf ball will help. I've always said there, if I put a little circle around your head, see that movement now as you go back? Yeah. Moving sort of from one side of the car to the other. Mm -hmm. like the camera moves anyway, to be fair, the circle is kind of going with you, but you can see that sort of movement yeah. there. Okay, so if you move back and away from the golf ball, when you come back to it, your arm kind of bends back to a slightly more uh, bent yeah. position, and we top it. Okay, yeah. if when we come in here now, there's a bit of movement there, even if all that club has gone back anywhere, you're swaying off it. Now, on occasions, you time it well, okay, you come back to the golf ball, lovely strike. We can twist that that there. I mean, look at that. Yeah. That's a full movement up on the shoulders there, straight left side, okay? Fully rotated to target, great, mm -hmm. okay? We've got to try and harness that body movement while at the same time just trying to stay a bit more over the ball. We've got this sort of swaying off it if we can. Remember when you're in the circle over here, there's a centre part to that circle. If we move side to side each time, mm -hmm. you're just guessing where, the, where you're going to be. So it's about li eliminating these variables, okay? In its simplistic terms, the golf swing is a circle that involves two turns of the body, a turn on the way back, a turn on the way through, and a swish of the arms, okay? If your arms like this, it's hard to swish it, okay? If you move in this way, you're adding more movement than we need to. We just turn the shoulders back, turn the shoulders through, and a swish of the arms at the bottom, get the club to go towards target so it's trying to keep it simple okay if you're doing this with your hands at any practice you're gripping too tight okay and i think we're conscious of the fact we do squeeze on tight and <laughs> it's very hard to move really concentrate yeah exactly that's the thing exactly you know, i say i'm always constantly trying to give not too much i think sometimes then we're trying to work on this movement we discussed about trying to create this big circle and i think get your left arm just to hang that's gonna be the biggest thing to get today if we can just get your left arm to hang and get in some ways that's just your torso facing towards me not kind of down over here somewhere you're not sort of set over with your shoulders tilted this way and even your eye line off to the side you just as we're straight facing there we kind of go forward there you kind of go this way so now you're, and then to try and swing, you've got to do this. Then the sway needs to happen to kind of initiate the, the golf swing. So you're adding movement to your golf swing. When you time it well, okay, lovely. It goes a long way. Speed's going to be good. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get the ball quite a long way, to be fair. You've got not speed there kind of naturally. It's just harnessing that speed and making contact with the golf ball. When you get a good connection, it goes massively further than your missing shots because you're getting a better connection, aren't you? Your top shots going like 20, 30 yards. Your good shots are going like 70, 80 yards. So we can get that good strike, get the arms working in a more free-flowing movement i suppose yeah. we can get more distance okay just, well yeah exactly i would say if you can i would yeah i mean even if you can't get down the range i would spend five minutes home in the day i know it's easy to say easier said than done when you've got family and stuff and try and commit to and stuff and jobs and work and stuff to get done and social but if you just say okay right i'm gonna put the kettle on and just go make 10 swings in the back garden while the kettle's boiling just try to work on a just getting myself if, if needs be if i sort of show this here now when you're set to the golf ball so when you get to here now, the good from this setup position here I like, okay? So we've got a good arm movement, arm position there. But for me, your head's kind of looking off the side there, okay? Mm -hmm. So just get yourself in front of a mirror. Just face the mirror straight and then just lean forward. And when you set up to the golf ball, what we want, because one hand is lower than the other one, we want your shoulders to be on a slight tilt as we show here, okay? So if, you're, if, if you put both hands in front of you yeah. like so, okay both shoulders can stay level okay if we lean then down to the golf ball my shoulders are still level okay for the right hand in your case to go under the left this happens but what you do is you pull the left one up okay and that's why the bend and you end up like so
So your left arm's going to maintain one length. Your right arm's going to get lower by your right shoulder getting lower, yeah? So you actually stand the ball a bit more straight onto target rather than kind of on a twisted position, yeah? Okay? Makes sense? Yeah. Good stuff, right?